This time we'll try some examples in arbitrary bases instead of well-known bases. So maybe I have a number in base 5. And I want to subtract another number in base 5. Again, the really hard thing here is just to remember which base you're in so you know what the value of your 10 is. So I can't subtract 4 from 1, so I'll need to borrow something from that 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Now I have 11. But I'm in base 5, so this is really the same as 6 in decimal. 6 minus 4 would obviously be 2. Or I can say, well, 4 plus 1 would get me to 10, plus 1 more gets me to 11. Either way, I'll write down a 2. Now, 3 is greater than 1, so I can't do that. I'll have to go borrow something. So now I have 11 minus 3. Well, 11 minus 3 isn't much different from 11 minus 4. So that should be one more than whatever I got last time, or 3. Now, 4 is greater than 2, so I'm going to need to borrow something. Now I've got 12 minus 4. Well, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 2 more gets me to 12. So I can say that's 3. Or I could say that, well, really 12 in base 5 is the same as 7 in base 10. So 7 minus 4 would be 3 there, too. And then 3 minus 3 is 0. If I try those same numbers in base 6, I'll get a slightly different result. Because all of those borrows will work a little bit differently this time. So 4 is still greater than 1, so I'll need to borrow something. 2 becomes a 1, my 1 becomes an 11, and now I have 11 minus 4. Before it was 2 when I was in base 5, this time my 10 actually has a slightly greater value, so I'll get a slightly larger result. In this case I could say 10 is 6, so 6 plus 1 would give me 7, 7 minus 4 is 3, or I could say I've got 10 minus 4 leaves me with 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. Then 3 is less than 1, so I'll need to borrow something. Now I have 11 minus 3. Well, that's the same as 7 minus 3, which is 4. Or I can say I need 10 minus 3 leaves me with 3. 3 plus 1 is 4 as well. And then... 2 is less than 4, so I'll borrow something from over here. Now I've got 12 minus 4. So again, this would be 8 in decimal. 8 minus 4 is 4. Or 4 plus 2 gives me 10, plus 2 more gives me 12. And then 3 minus 3 is 0. So in this case, I increased the size of my base by 1, but kept the numbers the same, which meant all of those borrows had a slightly greater value. Increased my base by 1, so the value of those borrows went up by 1 as well. As a result, my number got 1 larger in each of those places. If I pick some different numbers, and say base 9, Now, 1 is less than 2, so I'll need to borrow something. Now I have 11 minus 2. 11 in base 9 is the same as 10 in decimal. 10 minus 2 would be 8. Or I can realize that, again, 1 is 1 less than 2, so when I do the subtraction, whatever I'm going to get is, will be 1 less than my base, which is, again, 8. 7 minus 7 is 0. 2 minus 5, I can't do that, so I'll have to borrow something. Now I have 12 minus 5. So that would be 11 if I was in decimal. And then 11 minus 5 would be 6. Or I can do 9 minus 5 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 
and then 6 minus 6 is 0. If I try something in, say, base 12, Okay, so now I have a minus b, b is less than a, so I'll want to borrow something. Now I have 1a minus b, base 12, so this should give me 1 less than my base, which is, again, b. Or I could realize that 10 minus b will leave me with 1, a plus 1 is also b. Now I want to try 5 minus a which will require I borrow something from over here. Now I have 15 minus a. Well, 10 minus a leaves me with 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. And then now I have 1 minus b. So I'll borrow something here. We have 4 and 11. So 10 minus b leaves me with 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then 4 minus 3 is 1. If I try something in base 15, so D is 1 less than E, so I'll need to borrow something. E minus 1 is D, then I can have 1D. So E is 1 less than our base of 15, so I could just realize that I'll add 1 to my D and that'll give me E. Or I could try converting all of this into decimal where I'd say, okay, this is 13 plus 15 is 28. 28 minus 14 is 14, and 14 was E. Either way, I'll get an E back out. Then D is 2 larger than B, so D minus B will leave me with 2. C is also 2 larger than A, so I'll get 2 out. And then A is 1 larger than 9, so A minus 9 is 1. That's in base 15. So here I've got two numbers in base 6. 4 is less than 5, so I'll borrow something from over here. Now I have 14 minus 5, which will leave me with 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. 2 minus 3, I'll need to borrow something again. 4 and a 12. Then 12 minus 3 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. 